Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. So my hair is in a natural way at the moment. I washed it last night. It is not brushed or anything like that or heat treated. I haven't really put much in it. I'm using my favourite Tangle Teaser brush. Now that my hair is all brushed, I am going in with Revolution Hair Style and Protect Heat Protection Spray. Mm, smells quite nice as well. Now I'm going in with my Babyliss Hair Curler. I received these for Christmas years ago and they're still going strong. And you can literally select the temperature there. I'm going to go with 185, 185 degrees. It also came with this glove, that way you don't burn yourself when you're curling your hair. So I just leave it like this for like 20 seconds. Absolutely love the way this curling wand curls your hair it kind of gives you like almost like hollywood curls so now i'm going to go in with some hairspray i'm going in with elnet shine dull hair love this it really holds your hair in place and it smells really good i'm really gutted because they did have a limited edition one and it smelt kind of florally and it was amazing. I'll grab it actually. I've still got the can and I'll show you. Yeah, so this is the one they did. New floral fragrance, 24 hour stronghold shimmering shine. It smelt absolutely incredible and I've looked for it. I've even Googled it and I cannot find it and I'm really, really gutted completely empty i used it all absolutely loved it absolutely still love it but i don't have it anymore i'm really gutted i really do hope they bring this one out <laughs> permanently because i absolutely love it now i'm gonna go in with some eye makeup i've done my face makeup for today so i've done my concealer foundation my brows so now i'm gonna go in and prime my eyelids I literally just put a tiny bit and then just dab it on so you don't want too much but you want to make sure that your eyeshadow doesn't end up in your eye crease like what happens to me my hands are so red because it's literally so cold do you know what um it's too cold for an April and the thing is with this weather is it's too cold to have the heating off, but it's too warm to have the heating on. So it's one of them ones where like, if you put something warm on around the house, it's just right, like a big jumper. But if you've got the heating on, you end up sweating because it's like, it's supposed to be spring, but it's not. <laughs> so we just, we just end up with this strange weather. So yeah. But yeah, you can see the tip of my nose is a bit red. It's so chilly, honestly. And then now I'm going to go in with Barium Crushed Jewel. This is in Fairy Tale. I absolutely love this. It's a beautiful bronze colour. I'm going to use my mirror in a minute. That way I could really see what I'm doing. I'm going in with this dull candy eyes this is a beautiful shimmery pigment i'm just gonna apply that to my eyelids without me spilling it everywhere look how amazing that is i oh, just can't wait to apply that so you just want to go over that barium color just to give it that extra shimmer you can see the difference and then i'm gonna go ahead and just blend 
Now I'm going in with 5D Lash Pal. The worst thing about applying your mascara is when you accidentally catch the wand on your eyeball. It's literally so painful. But I've had a really bad experience once with my eye and my nail. And um, I, don't, I don't need to really say much more than that. But yeah, it was pretty traumatic. Yeah, so I have a story once what happened with me and my nail and my eye. It was pretty horrendous. So I'll tell you. So um, I had a set of acrylic nails on myself and I was laid on the sofa um, and all I'd done was put my hand like that to put my hair out, my to, to just move my hair out of my face. And my nail was, it wasn't even like these, these are builder gels. Uh, so normally when I have builder gels, they're not that long. They were like this long. And I went like that and my whole nail went right into my eye, literally into my eye. And I couldn't open my eye. It was just streaming and streaming. I couldn't open it. I literally ran to the bathroom. I got wet tissue, put it all over my eye, water, tissue. I couldn't open it for about five minutes. Eventually I opened it and it felt like it was getting better. And then the next day I woke up, it was quite sore but it wasn't that bad. It was just a little bit sore. And then now and then it just felt like there was a lash in my eye. And now and then I'd be like, like this streaming. It was very uncomfortable. And then the day after that is when it got really, really, really bad. I woke up the second morning after doing it. This was the second morning. My whole eyelid was completely shut. So I woke up, opened my eyes and my eye was just like this. It was, it was the left eye. It was this one. It was just like this. And I couldn't open it like this. It was like this. I thought my eye is permanently shut. This is really, really bad. I'm getting really scared. And the whole day I couldn't open it. I couldn't close it. Closing it was painful. Opening it was painful. I was in tears. I was crying in agony. It was so painful. Other than childbirth, one of the most painful things I have ever experienced in my life. Oh, and getting my tongue pierced as well. I'd say getting my tongue pierced, childbirth and poking yourself in your eye really hard were pro are probably the most free painful things I have ever experienced in my life and then I rang up the doctors and I said can I get an appointment please because I've I've seriously hurt myself in my eye and I told her on the phone I said look I've got acrylic nails I've poked myself in the eye and she said oh my god I've done something like that before it is really really bad she was really understanding when um I was going on about my life story to her and telling her this is what happened and then um, she basically said, but have you considered ringing up the opticians? And I said, well, I didn't think the opticians would have a look at it. So she said, give them a call and see if they could look at it for you. Honestly, it got to the point of like, I was wearing sunglasses in the house. Um, I had to ask my partner to turn the um, light down on the TV because when I was watching TV, it was hurting. We had to turn the lights out in the living room and we were watching TV, turn the light down on the TV. Uh, when I walked through into the kitchen, I had to wear sunglasses just to walk through to the kitchen to go to the bathroom. It was so, so bad. I tried to make like um, an elasticated, like like a headband and put it over like Pudsey the Bear. I tried to make something like that, but keeping it shut hurt me. Keeping it open hurt me. Everything hurt. I tried to sleep it off and I couldn't fall asleep from the pain. I couldn't even nap from the pain. It felt as if I had the flu. It was so bad. It was like agonising. It almost felt like your body was hurting you. You just wanted to cry. It was so horrible. And crying almost relieved the pain. Because where your eye would get so wet from crying. It was like a relief of from the pain. It was just so, so agonising. And then when I went to the um, opticians. She gave me this miracle ointment. This miracle stuff. And honestly, when when she she had a look at my eye she said um she said to me 
there's a graze on your eye i think she said to me it's on the bottom of your eye like underneath and i said to her when i blink i can feel it on the top and what it is sometimes i think our brain gets like confused with where it's coming from but I, I kept telling her it feels like it's coming from here she said no it's the bottom of your eye that's where it's grazed so she had a look at it she put some ink in there so she can have a proper look at the eye and she said it's yeah not this is the stuff it is amazing if you cause yourself any eye injuries or have dry eyes i recommend this stuff and um do you know what even now but it's so rare but it does happen that was it that happened in january 2021 even now sometimes if i wake up in the morning and i open my eye quickly the pain starts again and i have to really close my eye and i can't open my eye and it's streaming um the optician did like mention that the eyeball will scab over when i'm trying to sleep yeah so when you wake up she said that the scab will peel and that's where the pain is but it's so rare but now and then it does flare up but other than that it's a hundred percent better and honestly when she gave me this stuff i was saying to my partner i could literally go back to the opticians and give her a big hug and a big kiss because she relieved all that pain from me that stuff this stuff i mean this isn't the actual same stuff the same stuff i finished this is the second batch that i ended up purchasing because it's so good i could have just kissed her because I was that happy that it relieved all the pain. And now I'm going to go in with some highlighter. I'm going in with Dull Light Highlighter in Like a Diamond. And I'm just going to apply that. the end of my video i hope you all enjoyed watching hope you all enjoyed watching please don't forget to subscribe if you want to see more content from me thank you all so so much and i will see you all in my next video